I can think of several examples where being able to do an MRI has allowed us to make the correct diagnosis and institute therapy earlier. I can think in particular of a patient who had breast cancer where both the mammogram and the ultrasound did not reveal additional areas of cancer, but the MRI did show those areas. Having that MRI allowed us to change the type of surgery that was going to be done and therefore hopefully affect cure. I have a patient now that I'm following closely who a couple of years ago presented with a spine tumor uh, which was able to be resected uh, mostly and the residual tumor was treated with high dose radiosurgery. That entire treatment course and diagnosis was only uh, possible because we could do MRI scans on this patient's thoracic spine. I happened to see him in follow-up a couple of months ago and he happened to mention to me that he's been told that he needs a pacemaker and he asked me if that is okay with his current condition and with his uh, imaging protocol. And I specifically asked him to have his cardiologist call me because if we are limited in being able to image his thoracic spine with MRI scans, his potential tumor outcomes could be impacted in a negative way. I have hundreds, not yet a thousand, but hundreds of patients who've been scanned. And we have found things that I know a CT scan wouldn't have found, especially in the brain. But for me, I was so convinced of the merits of the need for MRI going forward that I actually don't have a patient where I looked at and said, ah, you're perfect for an MRI device and I'm gonna do it because I would be perfect for an MRI device, my wife and children would be perfect for MRI devices, and my parents would be perfect for MRI devices because we're all at risk of needing an MRI. And actually in my family, out of the five of us, four have already had them. The Golden Retriever has not had an MRI yet, but pretty much everybody else has. Certainly the patients who come in with multiple sclerosis who need devices, progressive degenerative neurologic diseases that require frequent MRI follow-up, and there have been a few patients I've had who've been in clinical trials that have required ongoing MRIs in the cancer universe where it was natural, but for me, I treated those people no differently than Joe Schmo off the street 